Welcome to the I Create Daily Podcast. I'm Leora Alderson. And I'm Devani Alderson. We're your co-hosts on this journey of creativity and productivity. I Create Daily is for artists in every genre of creating, from musicians to writers, crafters to inventors, bloggers to entrepreneurs. I Create Daily is a movement for creators serious about your art. If you're into creating anything, this podcast is definitely for you. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Hello and welcome to the I Create Daily podcast, a movement for creators serious about their art. Today, Devani and I are doing one of our coffee break sessions, and I'm Leora. And I'm Devani, and we'll, go, we'll, we'll just dive in. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually finish my part. I was so supposed go to ahead, say the rest, do your right? Part. Wasn't I supposed yes. to say more? Okay, so, so basically the coffee break <laughs> sessions are where we're not interviewing anyone else. We're just talking about some things that, and sharing with you conversations we've been having and things that we've been thinking about that we think might also be of interest to you. Yes, yeah, so... Today, well, the day we're recording this, uh, my computer broke, and so we were taking it to the repair shop and getting it looked up by the, the tech doctors who do that, and I was on the way there and back. I was listening to a very inspiring interview on the Creative Live podcast with, it's called, it's the Chase Jarvis Live show, and the I don't know what number episode it was, but it's your biggest fears are holding you back. And it was Chase Jarvis, who is one of our creative heroes, interviewing Lewis Howes, who both of whom are incredible podcasters and businessmen and creators in the world. And um, they were just talking about their journeys, their goals, how they, uh, how they, go about achieving and manifesting the things they want in their lives. And we have finished a creative art challenge in January with our I Create Daily group. And now it's February. We're into the first week of February and the long haul of the rest of the year. And a lot of times we build all this momentum up for January. It's a fresh start. It's a new 365 days and we're going to be these incredible people for the rest of the year. And then January is over. And what happens is we kind of can sometimes sink back into habits or um, it just doesn't feel new and fresh anymore. The year doesn't feel new and fresh anymore. And we're realizing we have this full year to become and achieve the goals we set out. And so when I was listening to the episode with Chase Jarvis and Lewis Howes, they were talking about, or Lewis Howes was talking about how at the different crossroads of his life, because he, he's been an entrepreneur and sustaining himself in multiple businesses throughout the past, I guess, 15 years, give or take, and he would reach these different crossroads, and what he would always do is he would set a goal and a date by which he would want that goal accomplished, so whether it was starting a podcast, launching a new business, learning a new skill, developing himself as a public speaker, and I won't give all of it away because it's a fantastic interview, but he would just dive into whatever he was doing fully and he would give himself about a year to become the person that he was trying to be mm. to achieve the goal that he wanted to be and so I guess the just the biggest takeaway that I learned from that is it's not about the month of January being this fresh new start it's about um, giving yourself a, a solid chunk of time to sink into the process of becoming who you need to be or learning what you need to learn to achieve the goal that you're after because that is really the journey that is really what we're really after is the growth not necessarily the goal outcome the goal outcome just tells us and lets us know and gives us this measurable you did it uh, you know you you became that person so i think that was my biggest takeaway from that and just a reminder to anybody else who might feel like January is over, it's not a fresh new year anymore, that it, it's really about the journey, not, not the end. And not any specific date. And we've talked about that before too. And the concept is, um, you know, when you begin to, I know for me, for years, um, there was this like 
angst and tension built up around deadlines around January 1st, around certain like events. Um, you know, and I've come since to kind of dislike um, all of those kind of externally imposed deadlines that, I mean, I was responding to it through internal imposition of pressure, um, but it was like this huge buildup. And then what happens is if by the day one or two or seven or 14, of that period of first year, part of the new year, um, you know that that's where that tension propelling us happens. And but it's a lot of tension. And if we don't get going with the momentum of that tension, then then that's when it just kind of tends to fall by the wayside and it evaporates over time. Mm -hmm. um, and vapor evaporating is actually a good analogy because if you think about it, there's you know excitement is vaporous is kind of like the fumes from the flame or the gaseous state rather than the substance of the solid wood of a, and or coal that sustains a long burning fire um, so if we toss gasoline on a fire to ignite it then it flares up and it flames quickly and there are many of us who tend to be enthusiastic and excitable types i know definitely i'm guilty of that and then it's like everything's like wow that's so fantastic and you know yada yada and it's like i'm gonna make this and i'm gonna do that and this is where i want to go and then you know that's kind of hard to sustain that high yeah. level of excitement um and but what it, and it's like so then it because you end up with the extremes the, up the highs and lows the highs and lows mm -hmm. of feeling and accomplishment of doing and not doing and and not doing and then dipping into the lows of I failed and then okay I'm going to try again and then starting and stopping and starting and stopping which, and, which yes. is like this choppy non-momentum yes. space <laughs> right so um so really it is like you said it's settling in for the journey and recognizing that um you know like where it is that we want to go when it is you have big visions you know and for and whatever that is for you it might be that you want to exhibit your art in a show and, and achieve a certain show like Ava Nikunen uh, from Finland whom we've interviewed and we'll mm -hmm. link to um, just in January had a show or um, uh, a show in New in, York at in, Haven Gallery there you go and, and, that and was it a, was her first solo show in New York at yeah. a gallery which is impressive Huge, and it, yeah. yeah she deserves it and earned it yeah absolutely know? and so there's like so much and there, there's such it's such a big thing so that would be a monumental goal to plan you know mm -hmm. and, the, and the, yet it's a journey to get there it's like a lot of preparation and it's a long thing it's a process yeah, and I think too I know one thing that I've struggled with a lot and I think maybe a lot of entrepreneurs and maybe even creators and artists of any type type really is when you do work but it doesn't feel like you have this tangible result to show Right. Or to show for it, it's like you're working, 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 but then you don't necessarily feel either internally or externally that you have a, something to show other people that right. this is what happened, you know? And so that's sort of where the um, advice or the listening to his journey of it wasn't like overnight I became Lewis Howes, this keynote speaker amazing podcaster it was this really long journey of diving into mastering and becoming great his right. his podcast is called school of greatness and it's not about being just naturally being born great it's a, the journey of becoming great at something right and so the thing about setting the goal like this your big vision goal so it might be that for this year that you want to write a book um maybe you want to write 10 uh whatever it is for you is your goal or you might be you want to start your business you want to become an Amazon seller you want to create a product whatever it is for you um, you know and it may be that you're not doing it from the business like we have a lot of people in our audience who are not at all interested in taking their art into business they do it for the love of the art and they're serious about their art but they're not interested in taking it into a business and yet they still have goals and aspirations such as Lynn Hunley for instance it was uh, just wanting to create daily so that's a big goal. If you're not yet creating daily and that's what you yeah. want to do, then that's a big goal, especially if you think that, okay, by the end of the year, that means that I would like to have about, you know, have created th for 365 days, you know, right. or uh, created like a dozen new works of art or however many it takes to create, you know, in a week's period of time, yeah. for instance. And so, it's less about quantity and more just about uh, committing and sinking into a process. Well, would you say, yeah. you know? So, which is what I was going to say. So that, so it's like, it's about maturing 
in one's efforts to pursue and achieve one's aspirations. So you think about it like the journey and in the beginning of a journey, if anyone's ever taken a road trip with kids, then we know what happens like five miles from home. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Or how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? Yeah. <laughs> the donkey is always asking, are we there? Yeah. Have we arrived? Yes. And it's because, you know, it's like there's that impatience and there's that disconnect um, from the desire to the recognition of the hard, you know, in the trenches work uh, and the steady you know, journey there that it's going to take day in and day out to pursue because we have this idea we have the vision we know it and it's hard to be patient when it is that we know it and we want it so much we want to be there now we mm -hmm. want to be there tomorrow 10 years are you telling me it's going to take 10 years or it's going to take two you know that's kind of hard to settle into and it's it's hard to um like nobody is ever going to tell you yes your business in five years will be the success because nobody will ever know that that's right. the thing like there's the security of having a job and you go in and you have the set amount of income and you have the ways to to um, excel in a job but when you actually create a business or a creative endeavor or dive into a work of art nobody tells you it's going to take this amount of time and this amount of study and this amount of doing mm -hmm. before you're the expert or you're the pro or you're monetarily successful in it right so. right and so but so here's the thing it's like if you didn't start and if you didn't start now um in like 10 years from now if you look back will you regret it you know, five years from now, you look back and you didn't start, you know, and it's like, darn, I should have started. If only I had, if only I had kept going five years ago doing this, where would I be today? So that's and even thing. like tomorrow night, you know, yeah, right. If you didn't take the five minutes today to doodle, yeah. you know, it could be that simple, you know, just five it's minutes to do something to just generate the idea or to kickstart something. Are you going to feel bad tomorrow that you didn't do it? And if you're not sure, you know, what you want to do with your creative endeavor, if you're not even sure what creative endeavor you want to pursue, then part of your journey is to keep asking that question. Like, what do I want to be doing in the world? What do I want to be doing with my life? What is the next? And if you're not sure, if you don't have that big vision, um, because again, in every journey, rarely do you see perfectly the end outcome. And, and again, like last year we published nine journals and it didn't within 13 months mm -hmm. and that was prior to prior to that we didn't even have that plan right we didn't even have the plan that, that we would be doing that and now we have another dozen planned uh, yeah. and, and, and i create daily that. was never really uh, we didn't have products in mind when we started it was just going to be a media company around creativity so like right. podcasts articles that type of stuff around creativity we we didn't even think yet at, at that point we hadn't even thought of oh we're gonna be a journal company or oh we're gonna have products or oh you know all of this yeah. stuff we just we just had the idea of I create daily and helping inspire artists to create daily and creators to create daily and then in the doing of that we're like well these are the different things that will help yeah definitely that shaking was Caspian shaking um and his collar that's Dave Honey's dog walking around it's like he needs to go out so, <laughs> so I think that the bottom line message is that we need to um to just just to encourage you to continue in your journey don't give up settle in for the long haul know that it's not going to be a um a quick thing um, but anything worth doing is is worth putting in the time and effort to get it done and to wait for it and to be patient for it. So yeah, so keep on going. Uh, join us at um, the, the I Create Daily for Creators Facebook group. Um, you'll have a supportive uh, community there. Um, encouraging each, each other to continue in the journey uh, send us an email creators at iCreateDaily.com. let us know what you're working on let us know what you'd like to hear more about and how it's going for you in your journey yep. thanks for tuning in bye guys bye. thanks so much for joining us for the i create daily podcast please let us know what creatives you would like us to interview and what topics you would be interested in hearing more about 
And if you enjoyed this show, please leave a review on iTunes. We value your feedback. We read all the reviews and it just helps us get the word out on the iCreate Daily podcast. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.